Hey, this is Lula, and this is the series where we look at the most expensive house for sale in each state. We are in Ohio, which is a state I've never been to and never want to go to because every person I've met from Ohio has been supremely obnoxious about Ohio. Uh, so I expect this to be a supremely obnoxious house. It was built in 1990, so, you know, we can expect everything will be very, very up to the styles, very classy, definitely not a, a gaudy piece of shit at all. It's also for just $8 million, so not that expensive. It's enormous. Look at this place, 16 beds, 26 baths. Can you imagine having 26 toilets in your house? You just gotta have a, a plumber on call at all times. And, and, and a whopping more than 32,000 square feet for eight thousand dollars i mean the trade-off is that you have to live in fucking ohio so let's see that this looks like a maze oh my god we're gonna get lost in here i hope there's a diagram to help us ex to help explain to us what the hell is going on is that a parking lot i or maybe s s solar panels i don't know this is this is gonna be a journey friends so buckle in all right we got a front wall with some flowers all right here's the long driveway you go up to get to the house we are going on on the journey they're they're getting us emotionally prepared for the journey to this house and there it is there's your first look and right off the bat it looks like it's aspiring for something i'm not sure what whatever it is it's not accomplished it this weird little half circle that's a, a a window through to that half circle i don't know what the shit that is uh it looks like they just copy and pasted that wall up here uh, okay we've got the hotel drive through this driveway looks shitty is that just black asphalt that's that's a little plebeian i'm gonna call that plebeian we got at least a four door garage over here with identical windows over every single one it all looks very squat. I don't know if it's something with the camera angle, but like this window looks too much like on the ground. It looks like the whole house is slightly sunken into the ground and, and this wall is too short. And I, you know, is, is this a habitable attic up here? I don't know. The, the shape of the house is wrong somehow. Yeah, look, look how low to the ground that is. You must have, like, the angle of the roof in every single room. Because this window is basically on the floor. Got a big old balcony up there. Some octagon windows. Why? I don't know. Why not? And we had little vents on every single bit of roof. Oh, all right. Here's the back of the house. We've got a kind of... What is this? This is like a, a southeastern vibe. Here, this is like plantation vibes. We got the neo-colonial columns and, and the stone fencing. That doesn't match the rest of the house. This is such a mishmash. We got brick over here. Why? Why not? No one told them no. We've got 10 different shapes. That's an octagon. That's a square, I think. Here's the view as you pull up to the hotel. Got a fountain. Yeah, that looks like about a an $8 million house fountain. This is... The front entryway. This is, I think it's the reflection that makes it really confusing to me. Because it's, it, it's extremely reflective. I, I felt like the, or there was supposed to be a way to walk around this. It's so narrow. I would feel uncomfortable walking into this like narrow little hallway. And the walls look like stone or marble or something. It's like walking into a crypt. We've got these insane murals in here oh my oh my god yeah and the, of course the columns this is this is gonna try my nerves i can just tell you already all right this is the sitting room we've got a that's carpet that's that is a oh boy all right we've got a black carpet with a pattern in the middle that goes right up to the fireplace we've got a pottery barn something up there uh weird little balcony there's a door over that balcony that's 
What is that for? Is that that's for the Greek chorus that's going to stand over the balcony and narrate your tragedy? Yeah, look at that. What? That looks so weird. It's like <laughs> What's the purpose of that? The the AC vents are just really prominent. Like you can see the whole vent tube in there. That looks terrible. And then over here you've got like stone carvings in the wall. This is bizarre. This is absolute this is th three to five different architectural design styles all crammed into the same place. Okay, there's a chandelier. This is a very low ceiling, but you've compensated for it by recessing the chandeliers up into it. Grand piano, lots of marble. Oh, that's that's the carpet. So this is that's the sitting room behind us and then this is through to another part of the house. Oh, yeah, we've just got like a little stage for the piano. We're pretending we're at the Nordstrom. Okay. Blackstone fireplace here. I'm assuming this is supposed to be some sort of grand parlor or something. I, I, I'm wishing that this was furnished because it's difficult for me to visualize how these spaces would be used. This, I'm assuming, is an office area. They've got the hideous sponge painting on the walls. The shelving here is actually not as dated as I would expect from a house in the 90s. And they actually don't have can lights in the ceiling, I think because can lights really didn't become a fad until the early 2000s, so they missed it. And then so far, so far, crossing our fingers, no one had the bright idea to go drill holes in the ceiling after the fact. Here's another, this is like a little library. Got very cool woodwork on the floor here. And we got a, a bookshelf with a, with a bookshelf ladder. Oh, wow. Here's more library, I'm assuming, from the ladder. And this looks like an office. Maybe it's the carpet. Maybe it's that every office looks like it was decorated in the 90s and they've not updated it since. But that's the vibe I'm getting from this. Yeah, you could see. So that's the octagon library. And then this is the secondary outer library. That looks like just a giant office space. This, I think, is supposed to be a dining room in here. The lights are not what I would choose. But again, no can lights. We don't see them anywhere. Uh, we're open to the patio here. The carpets have got to go. These carpets are atrocious. Was this the, like, I know carpeting was still kind of luxurious and the style in the 90s. I'm wondering if this, specifically this kind of hotel-esque patterned carpet, because that's not a rug. It's a carpet that is patterned to look like a rug. Was that the style? Oh, dear God. Um, you've got a giant planter here, which on the one hand, greenery is nice. On the other hand, does make it look like an office lobby. The mural. What the shit is that? It's the entire space that's so overwhelming. It's, I don't, it's not like it's badly drawn. It just, I, I, okay, here's something we've talked about before. Any mural that has a fake fence painted into it is automatically a bad mural. That's a bad mural. Uh, we get more neoclassical columns. It wasn't enough to just have them in your house. You had to paint them into your mural too. It's just the, you don't even have, you could have put actual stones or a stone facade in here, but instead you just painted stones onto the wall. The sponge painting in the octagon up here, that's way too much. And I don't, this whole hallway is just, it's an atrium, basically. It's an, and I, I'm not necessarily against an atrium. I am against this atrium. This one is horrifying. Here's the kitchen. We've got a kitchen island that doesn't quite match everything else, which is fine because everything else is white. We do have can lights in here. God damn it. We can't escape the fucking can lights. 
Uh, we got some. Uh, I assume that wallpaper is bad. I'm not even going to look too closely at it. It looks like so this microwave. It looks like they've got a cabinet space made for a microwave, but microwaves have gotten smaller since that space was put in here. That's that's the danger of building those kind of spaces into your cabinetry. Technology changes. So now they've had to like put this weird little insert around the microwave because it was too small for the space. We got a little breakfast nook. This is actually cute. The wallpaper is absolutely awful. That wallpaper needs to go. Uh, the the f wood blinds, especially matching the the windows, I'm not a fan of that. I don't think that looks good at all. But yeah, no. With with the wood valence over the door, no, absolutely not. The stool here. Okay, why is that even there? There's not enough floor to pull it out. And are you actually going to sit on that stool? Maybe you put it on the floor. Because if I was sitting there, I would fall backward and bust my shit. Oh, there's the view from above. This is, look at that. that where it looks like the painting is peeling and you see the, oh God, it's just awful. It's, it, that, is that like supposed to be an Italian villa? That's so fucking tacky. I think that's supposed to be an Italian villa. Your house isn't even that style. Your house doesn't remotely look like that. What are you trying to evoke? And again, the mishmash of the different styles. We've got we've got this like ruins over here. We've got a forest over there. We've got black marble somewhere that is very loud for something that's all black. And then there's white stone. Like none of this matches. Okay, we got details on here. This, oh, that's the view from above. Got a big the skylights are nice all of the painting around the skylights is awful and and you know what's really unfortunate is that if you were to get rid of this whole mural this space would be so god-awful boring because there are no details there's no woodwork there's no paneling there's there's no carvings in the ceiling it's just flat plaster and miles of it. That's why they've had to do this atrocious paint. Are there people in there? I don't want people in my murals. Um, I don't want murals in my murals. This, it's terrible. Oh, no, 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 no. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. No. No, <laughs> there's more of it. This, why would you do that? Why would you do a zebra print carpet? I'm going to scream. <laughs> oh my god, I can still see it. I can still see it there. Uh, the skylights are very nice. It brightens up the space nicely. I don't know what that is. Okay, we've got details on this fireplace. Looks like soapstone or something. I don't know. Oh, no. <laughs> no. They've done the border pattern carpet thing here. Oh, these curtains. <laughs> Sorry, I'm having a little breakdown here. What to say about these curtains? One, they need to be hemmed. They are like three, maybe four inches too short. Second... They bisect. They're not the right shape for these windows. When you've got the rounded up top, that doesn't mean you can just put a flat curtain across the bottom. Oh, God. All right, here's the laundry room. It's fine. It's fine. We're taking a little break. Oh, no. That's that's not okay. That's a little busy. But you know what? It's It's fine. It's fine. They couldn't have changed this light bulb before they took the picture. Jesus Christ. leopard skin stitched together because it's in like the body sh oh no oh no this house is gonna damage me emotionally 
Look how much of it there is. Why? Why is this happening? It's on the stairs. They put it on the stairs. Is this a dance studio or something? Are the mirrors on the wall, it just makes for more leopard print. Okay, we've got a sauna. We're taking a rest in the sauna. If I see one more. Ooh! All right, I, that's, it's a little bit groovy in terms of the coloration, um, but all right, yeah, I'll take that. Oh, it's another mural. We're in an attic, maybe? I don't know. Uh, that's uh, like a walkway sort of thing. I don't understand the shape of this house. Cool, cool glass details in the window there. Uh, that cushion... That's directly from the 90s. That's not been updated. The carpet's awful. The mural, no. no the, the, the faux framing with the fake, I mean, that just screams that we, we weren't going to spring for any actual craftsmanship in our house. So we're just painting architecture onto the walls as if it exists in the house. All right, there's that window. I like it hallway nice floors in the hallway i like what they've done with the ceiling lighting because they've got the the little recesses that come down between so the entire hallway doesn't look like intimidatingly tall it is a lot of wasted space but this house is huge they can waste some space and then they've got the the dents that go up so that the the ceiling lighting isn't hanging down into the walking space i still don't like these the woods blinds uh, this is a sad, depressing little room. I'm not sure what it's for. Yeah, a lot of these rooms are going to be... I, I think this is supposed to be a bedroom, because that looks like maybe a an ensuite bathroom there. Uh, this is... It's not a basement. That spiral staircase makes me think it's a basement. The architecture of this house is bonkers. For a house that's so architecturally boring in every line... The actual layout makes no sense. What is this room? There's just a microwave there. What is this? Okay, no explanation. We're just not going to explain that. We're back in the hallway. Got another look at the chandelier. Okay. Still doesn't forgive this. Yeah, there's all that black marble. Okay, we got stonework. And here's the pool. Does that door... <laughs> is that a door? door that just goes out directly first of all there's a gutter coming down in front of it second of all it just opens directly to the pool can you if you got lost in this house and you were trying to just get out and you were like oh good finally a door to the outside you open that and you just like flung yourself through straight into the pool either this pool was put in later and they were like i don't know i guess fuck that door and we're not gonna plaster over it we're just gonna leave it there or this was just the most poorly planned house in the universe. You've got how many different types of stonework here? We've got brick framed by stonework. We've got yellow stones here. We've got a different type of stonework here. And that's a different type of stonework. That's five different stone patterns on a flat-sided house. Why? Why are you doing this to me? The row of portholes? Oh my god, that looks so stupid. That's the ship that's embedded in the middle of the house right there. That's what that is. I think I see another door. Because, so this is like, the pool is recessed into the house. The stairs are over there. So I think there's another door over there that just opens directly from the house into the pool. That's such a stupid idea. This is, it looks like a little seating area there. Yeah, that's, those are the patio doors somewhere. So you've got patio doors in the house that don't actually lead you outside unless you want to go outside directly into the pool. That's insane. You got a weird little prison tower over there. All right, we got garden. This is chaos. This, this looks like it started as a normal house and was added on to a kajillion times. But I'm, I'm fairly certain this entire thing was built at the same time in the 90s. And they just, the architect had a mental breakdown. 
by the end of this because people just kept going, oh yeah, and add this on too, and that too. And what about a round bit? Can we do an octagon? I'd like to have an octagon added onto the house and over and over and over again until they went insane. Um, we got a fence that looks like that goes down to a river. This doesn't even look like a very usable patio space because there's there's too many doors out onto it. Looks like you've got some seating tucked away over here. Random flower box just sitting in the middle of the lawn. The neoclassical shit. Anytime you see that, anytime you see that, don't trust it. Don't trust it. It's it's problematic. It's it's a 19th century eugenicist head measuring trend from a bygone era. Here's the, I don't know, is this called a parquet or something? Okay, we got, this looks like maybe a little caretaker shed tucked off to the side here with a metal roof. That's very classy. Oh, this is, I don't know, just a little vacation house tucked away on the property. I think this is a nicer, <laughs> I think this is a nicer kitchen than they actually have in the main house. Uh, we've got a TV offset from the fireplace, although they're still awfully close. I don't know about that one. That's borderline. Yeah, I think this is nicer than the main house, actually. And we got a boat dock. Of course we do. So maybe that little house is like the boat house or something. I don't know why you need a separate boat house. Maybe it's a guest house. Who knows? You have a balcony off there. This this weird little vent thing up there. What is that? Like obviously it's it's for like the attic space, but did you really have to highlight it here? All right, now we're in grandma's house. Everything is white. We've got a single can light. Why? Is this I, this might be another house on the property. Is this is this like a grandparents' house? Is that why it looks like grandma's house? It's not even a gazebo, it's just a roof with no walls. Little natural splendor, nice hostas. Oh, that's a big-ass fountain. And you can see it. Like, obviously when you see a fountain, you know that there's something spraying the fountain, but I feel like it does not look good to have it above the water. Yeah, that looks awful. It just looks like you put a sprinkler in your pond. And it's so big. It's it's huge. It does not need to be that big. Right. Got peaches. And we got some sort of nursery, tree nursery. Maybe you're growing more fruit trees on the property. That could be a fun touch. Little creek. And we're back in a mystery place. This is this is officially now that I mean decor wise atrocious. In terms of appliances, probably the nicest that we've seen. We've got hooks for pots and pans. Uh, this this marble pattern is awful. The fluorescents are atrocious, and there's so many of them. This is like a surgical theater. This looks like between the, the countertops and the cheap wood and the tile floor, this looks like a science lab, like a high school science lab. We're back under the hotel lobby drive through And there's the property from above. Yeah, here it is. It's really close to that river. I bet they have huge flooding issues. All right, and that's Ohio. That was for an unfurnished house. This packed an awful lot of horror in it. I mean, really atrocious McMansion bullshit. I... I was a little concerned when I saw that it wasn't furnished at first because I was like, oh, geez, is it just going to be a bunch of open rooms that I don't have anything to say about? Uh, no, I had some things to say because the house itself is just horrible. I mean, I think that's part of the reason why it's so cheap because I, I mean, Ohio is, is not California in terms of pricing, but I seeing that house, I would expect it to be going for a lot more money than eight million dollars just based on the, the size alone but there is so much wrong with it um it, the work that you would have to put into to get get rid of that mural and then to have it not look shitty without the mural because it's just flat walls all of these these weird tacky little 
bad architecture details. It's, it's a nightmare house, honestly. I don't know what it would take to update this house to like a, a modern aesthetic, but it would take a lot. You'd have to do a pretty serious remodel on this to make it at all in line with modern styles. And, and the outside of the house itself is really tacky. God, this, this is someone's nightmare project, I'm telling you. Well, that's Ohio. It was about as obnoxious as I was expected. It, it matches the personality of people from Ohio that I have met outside of Ohio. Uh, and that's not a great thing. Uh, if you are from Ohio and I've deeply offended you, good. Uh, go ahead, leave a comment. If I uh, missed something that you want to point out, go ahead, leave a comment. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and have a good one.